Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel, Anne's Aesthetics, where hopefully I can bring you a little bit of peace, happiness, and trippiness today through painting. For today's tutorial, we are going to be doing this super cool Dexter painting. I have watched Dexter when I was younger. It was in the 2000s. Um, if you know, you know, but I'm starting off with black for the background of the canvas. Once the canvas is finished, I'm going to be working on the, what are those called? Tube beakers? Beakers, maybe? All the scientists and sciencey people are going to be so disappointed in me, but... Anyways, we're painting that and it's upside down because he's going to be holding it upside down. And then I'm working on his lab coat here. And then the last part will be the arm that you see that's kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. And I'm just filling that all in with a pure white. Sunkissed Peach is the next shade I'm taking for Dexter's face. I used it to draw his jaw, which is very pointy, and then I drew his ear and the forehead area. And then I'm taking a purple acrylic marker to draw the glove that's holding the beaker upside down. And then I used an orange acrylic marker for Dexter's hair. As always, you can use regular paint if you don't have acrylic markers. It just sometimes makes it easier for me, but these have been giving me a little bit of problems. They're not, they're a little watery even if I shake them, so it makes it hard to layer and they get bubbly, which you can sometimes notice, but here I'm working on outlining the jacket and I'm drawing some buttons and doing some lines on the beaker. The next part is pretty cool. It's like a concoction of whatever was in the beaker. So I used a magenta color, but in the inspiration photo, it was a hot pink color. So you could do like a lime green color that looks super cool as well. Whatever you like. And I'm just filling it in with my acrylic marker. We'll also be using this acrylic marker to draw the concoction within the beaker and then I'm drawing a little heart with the same color and I will eventually draw little hearts on the side with that color but here I'm just roughly drawing the glasses that Dexter wears. If you want to find this inspiration photo you can check out my Pinterest which is in the bio description below. Check out my board art and drawings and under that you will find this inspiration photo. Thank you so much to the artist that created this and was able to give us all some painting black Jesus oh Pete. Painting vibes and flow. That's why I said vibes. Oh my goodness, that's my cat. But here I'm taking a dark blue to fill in the first section and like the outer sections of Dexter's glasses. And then I'll go in with a lighter blue. final section is going to have white in it. I'm also using this blue to do a little highlight, but here I am adding the white and final part of our glasses. And then I'm going to go back in with some black to clean up the lines. There you have it. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I really enjoyed having you here. I appreciate you all so much. Please like, share, subscribe, maybe even comment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.